Hi there, hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to take a quick revisit of the old uh, Hives, Hives uh, six inch random orbital sender brushless that I bought direct from China about 13 months ago. Uh, also, we're going to take a look at it in the context of a visually very similar sender from Sealy, available here in the UK with full warranty. Let's get a look at the Hives first. I've got a bit more to say about that because I've had it for longer. So yeah, about uh, 13 months or so, November last year thereabouts, I bought this from Banggood, I think, one of the big Chinese conglomerates. But what had happened was uh, my friend Leo from the Handicraft Channel, hello, uh, had a few niggles with his Merca Deros and he ended up with a Festool. And during that conversation, somebody mentioned that you could get one of these, a, a brushless 350 watt, uh, sander from, from Banggood or Alibaba for $135. Well, I bought one just for fun and it took a long time to arrive. It's not really $135. It's a fairly hefty shipping and handling and taxes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, ended up costing about £160 uh, by the time it was here. But I thought I'd just try it and run it for a year. I, I gave it a, a, a good workout initially and came away quite happy with it. Not not a big fan of the flappy paddle actuator and I'm still not not hugely impressed by the by the grip and all that sort of stuff. But it is a powerful, quiet, low vibration sander which has performed absolutely brilliantly over the last 12 months. Now like most people I'm not really a big fan of lending tools out to people, but I've had this one in the hands of as many people as I possibly could. Keith Brown from Rag and Bone Brown had it. Keith has a Deros still, and he did a very interesting comparison between the two of them. I'll link that up down below. Um, I think Gary Cook uh, had it for a little while. He did a lot of paintwork prep with it. And Dawn at Two Rivers Workshop had it for a few weeks and used it a little bit like a Rotex. She, she took um, rough sawn timber back to polished timber and came away very impressed with it, apart from the grip which bothered her arthritis. But overall, I think, you know, it's it's a, a very impressive little sander. It's not a cheap sander at 160 quid, but it's not out of the way expensive, and it's certainly a lot less costly than, for example, the Mercadiros. Now, of course, it's not a Mercadiros. You know, the, the build quality is all very plasticky and very ordinary, and yet it's been in the hands of many people who, whilst they haven't abused it, they've used it hard. And I've got to say, I really like it. The times that it's been out with other people, I've really missed it. I much prefer this to my old Festool ETS 155 these days. I keep that in the edge sanding rig that I've got. There's a couple of things I'm not thrilled with about this. Again, I'm still in several minds about the flappy paddle thing. Um, I think that lends itself much more to sort of uh, vertical use than, than horizontal. Maybe that's just me. Uh, the other thing I'm not wild about is when you switch it on, it defaults to the lowest setting. You can change the speed up here, but the paddle is just a switch, it's just an actuator. So you can't vary the speed on the fly, but it's not really something I do, to be honest. Uh, but if that's something you're used to, then it won't do that. And the other irritation is that after you've switched it off, and then back on again, it comes back to the lowest speed setting. It doesn't have any sort of memory uh, about that. Other than that, it's been absolutely flawless. I've been so impressed with this. Um, very, very happy with it. And the only slight niggle about recommending it is, of course, buying something direct from China. You're never too sure what the warranty situation is going to be with them. Now, in the previous video, a couple of people mentioned in the comments that a uh, visually at least very similar sander is available under the Sealy brand. So I bought one recently and I just thought I'd take a quick look just to see how similar they are. Let's start with what's in the box. So other than a distinctly more attractive box, the actual scope of delivery is almost identical. And the same sort of short extractor hose in each one, the same sort of funny set of adapters, uh, same few sheets of uh, sandpaper, and the same spanner, pretty much, uh, in each one for you to be able to change the pad. Uh, there was originally a paintbrush included in the uh, there still is, <laughs> included in the uh, 
hives sander, which you do not get with the Celia sander, but I think we can live without that. In use, the Celia is every bit as good as the hives. It is smooth, it is quiet, it is powerful. It made absolutely short work of cleaning up the loose tenon jig carcass that I made recently. And I mentioned earlier on there were a couple of niggles with the hives sander around the sort of actuation and the speed control. Uh, on the Sealy, uh, the speed controller has memory to it, so you switch it off and you switch it back on again and it remembers what speed setting you were on previously. And the other thing is um, the flappy paddle is actually not just an actuator. What you're doing when you set the speed control is you're setting the maximum speed and the paddle switches it on and there is the speed as well up to the maximum that you've set on the speed controller. So much more Deeros alike than uh, the Hivest was. So there we are, really very impressed with this CD branded version of the Hivest sander or <laughs> vice versa. Obviously bearing in mind that I've only had it for a couple of days, but I see no reason to feel that it's gonna be any different in terms of reliability or longevity. And if there are any niggles, of course, it's backed up by a full UK warranty as well. Yeah, no, no hesitation at all in recommending this if you're looking for a sander of this type around that sort of price, 175 quid. Uh, definitely well worth the additional, small additional cost uh, to get this with a full warranty, I think, from the UK. Uh, one thing I did make a little bit of a meal of, a bit of a song and dance about uh, when I reviewed the hives originally was the fact that it could take a 125mm sanding disc which gives you a 5mm stroke 125mm sander. Um, I've been after one of those for a long time. Needless to say, over the last year I have not put this on a single time. <laughs> I don't think anybody else has either, so perhaps it's not that much of a big deal after all, but always useful to know that it is something you can do and you can definitely do it with the Sealy branded sander as well. Uh, I'll call this one done for now though. Just a quick follow up on the old Hive sander with a quick mini review and feature comparison of the Sealy branded version. Thank you so much for taking a look and thanks as always to my channel members for their amazing support over the year. Uh, as an extra little thank you, one of them will be receiving this sander in a giveaway next year. But that's it for this one though. Thanks so much for taking a look and I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care. Hi there, hope you're well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, hivesed little six inch uh, cordless brushless. Brushless, that's a word. Hi there, hope you're well. In this video, we're going to be having a. Hi there, hope you're well. In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, hi hi hivesed, hivesed, uh, cheap and cheerful little six inch brushless. Br Brutchless? Oh dear. Now, when I did the previous video, a couple of people did mention in the comments that the uh, very visually, anyway. Blah, 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 blah. So, other than a better looking box, the scope of delivery, the actual contents. So, I mentioned earlier on about a couple of slight niggles with the Hivesed sander. Oh. So I mentioned earlier on about a couple of slight niggles with the Hivesed sander. Uh, on the Sealy, if you switch it off and then switch it back on again, it does have a memory setting in it, so it keeps the speed setting, which is really good. And the other thing that it does is when you set the speed setting on the digital controller, that's the maximum speed and the variable speed comes... Hang on.